So a quick tour of the Nokia N8 here. It's Nokia's first Symbian 3 device. You're seeing here the uh, home screen, but let's just take a quick look around the device. You can see here the camera capture button on the side really is excellent, that two-stage autofocus, one of the best I've seen on a mobile device, the slide lock and the volume controls. On the back it's the 12 megapixel camera, of course this also shoots HD video. It's got twin microphones, one of which is there and the other one is down there. So that gives really ambient sound noise recording in videos and we saw a quick demo of that earlier, very impressive stuff indeed, probably the best video uh, audio soundtrack that I've seen from a mobile device ever. Then on the other side here we've got the SIM card slot and the micro SD card slot, that's up to 32 gigabytes. That's in addition to the 16 gigabytes that's inside. On the top here we've got the uh, usual power button but also the 3.5 millimeter audio jack and the HDMA out port which you can uh, plug an adapter cable into and then plug into your HDTV or indeed any other HDMI device. Uh, that will output in 720p for images and video and we'll scale up the UI which we'll take a look at in a minute. Just go down to the other end of the device you can see there's uh, the speaker but also the thing for attaching a lanyard and just at the bottom here you've got the, the home key. This is the key to switching back to the home screen shown here but also uh, for multitasking. So if I just press that quickly you'll see the multitasking pop up. It's the uh, visual multitasking take a quick look at some of the applications here. You can see we're actually running seven applications. I think that's a good indication for performance. Let me just pop into the photos application here. You can see you know, scroll through images very quickly. Look at one of the flowers here. We turn that around so we get the... Uh, turn it around the other way, sorry. You can see it's still a bit sluggish, but bear in mind that this has got six weeks to go on software and so I'd expect uh, significant improvements. They'll be running all kind of debugging software in the background, but uh, one of the things that Symbian 3 introduces is multi-touch. So if I pinch to zoom there, you can see we zoom in on the flower here, move it around the screen. Bear in mind these 12 megapixel images, it's really very impressive performance. If we go back here to the thing, you can see another typical Symbian 3 usage is a long press to bring up extra action items. You can see the pop-up menu here, Rather being attached to one side of the toolbar, as was the case in previous versions of Symbian, you get uh, the extra commands here. Note also the toolbar on the right-hand side here is actually thinner than on S65th edition devices. It's one of the key UI changes that makes things a lot more friendly. You'll also have noticed there's been single tap in a lot of what I've been doing. We'll just dive in and see if we can get into the Maps application here. Um, you can see we're in Piccadilly here. Again, the performance comes to the fore here. Moving around the map is much quicker than it has been in earlier devices. That's thanks to the uh, extra processor, or rather the graphics co-processor, zooming in and out. Again, very impressive on performance. For a prototype device, this is really a um, big step forward for Nokia. And this is, of course, the free sat-nav you get with this device. And we'll just switch into another application. We've got the camera, which we can't really demo here, but music player is another example of the graphics being shown off. This is a sort of cover flow like UI. You can see here that the performance of this is particularly impressive. Tap on one of these and we'll bring up the album list. Cancel that. If you switch it the other way, it switches into a slightly different uh, UI. You can see here this is the artist and album list. Again, kinetic scrolling, all very quick indeed. Go into one of these. You get the track list down the bottom here, but you also get the same cover flow along the top here. Notice how, as I go through, it's bringing up an alphabetical letter to indicate where you are on list. Again, that's something else you see quite frequently in the UI on Symbian 3. Uh, the music application, so you just click on one of those, now playing. be quite familiar, but the uh, music application has had, uh, as you can see, quite a significant refresh. Well, we'll just take a very quick look at the camera application. You can see not much has changed here. I'm just going to try and uh, grab a quick shot over there. That you can see very quick. And what's also very impressive, so you can see there, the shot-to-shot -shot time, um, even on this prototype device, is very quick indeed. Yep. This is uh, multiple home pages. If you want to customise this home screen, you just do long press, goes into the edit mode and you can add extra widgets. These are going to be shipped with quite a few on the device but also be able to download them from the Obby store. So let's just say the FM transmitter, that controls the FM transmitter of the device for music out. Nice little extra there. And you can see you've got up to three home pages that you can customise. You can see there's a messaging account so we just pop, use that to pop into the uh, messaging application. You can have uh, multiple email accounts each with their own widget. 
Uh, and you can see here, this is the sort of new look Nokia messaging client, which is improved use of screen real estate. Um, let's just find a quick email we can go into. Let's try the Nokia Conversations newsletter here. One of the nice touches, you can now just go show images. That's a full HTML email. You also get the uh, pinch to zoom there. I will just go and turn off the music on the background of this video because it's starting to annoy <laughs> me. So there we go. Let's just pop in and have a quick look at web TV. This is going to be the way to deliver content onto the device. You can see here we've got some ones in here already, but there'll be a lot more shipping with the device. But uh, have a quick look at CNN, which should hopefully load. And you can see, yes, let it connect to the network. This is uh, based on flashlight. And you can see here, this is a quick way of getting at content. You'll be able to use this to browse into um, videos and TV shows. And this is mainly going to be streaming content, but there will be some download. That depends on the service rights. There's a lot more to come on web TV, but that's the first look I've seen of it. And it's certainly uh, quite compelling in terms of way to get extra content streaming onto the device. Um, let's just have a quick look at the video application and we'll see if we can play back one of the uh, test videos. Uh, a quick look at the uh, Tron trailer, for example. You can see here the playback quality of the video is excellent. The uh, camera that we're recording on really doesn't do this uh, screen particular justice, but you can see here Tron just starting off there. Let's uh, skip forward in the video. Do so again. Let's see if we can... Uh, bring, uh, there's a classic Tron look with the... Uh, different colours. As I say, uh, not ideal recording conditions here, so I can't really point out how good the screen is, but it is AMOLED based, uh, and certainly uh, seems very prompting. It's, I would say, amongst the best screens I've seen on a Nokia device. I think we'll finally just have a point out here that um, the usual applications folder. We've got the uh, u usual array, including the video editor here. We won't go in. That's a great demo. You can look on the uh, web for that, but you know the chat application that's multi headed IM for things like Google Talk, Yahoo Messenger, Microsoft Live Messenger. It's also got the sort of office tool set. So if we just pop into there, you'll see that you've got uh, Quick Office as well as a dictionary application, the business card scanner, the Adobe PDF, you know, a very uh, comprehensive office selection of software out of the box. There's also Social here, which is Nokia's new software for aggregating social networks. That's going to work with Facebook and Twitter with more to come in the future. You can also see there's you know, Facebook and Twitter built into the phone as well as the radio. So there we go, a quick run through the N8. We're going to be taking a much closer look at this in due course. And bear in mind, as I said, this is with pre-production software and there's still probably a couple of months to go before the final version of the software comes out in time for the retail units. But I've certainly been pleasantly surprised uh, by the performance on this and the relative speed of the unit, and also the first look at Symbian 3. It's always difficult making a first judgment, but the N8 looks very promising indeed.